Take it, you've seen this? Yeah. Yeah, I have, Brody. Looks like your girlfriend's intent on making her name for herself. You sure have a thing for that Ford guy, don't you? Sources say D.A. Buchanan intends to charge O'Connor with last April's murder of Dr. Margaret Saybrook's unborn child and the May attempt on the life of Landview University teaching assistant Robert Ford. David Buchanan, you are one good-looking guy. Who wouldn't want a piece of that? I gotta start sucking my gut in. I don't know why you even bother to read this rag your brother puts out. It just makes you mad. I know, but it's an occupational hazard. I do have to keep an eye on Hola, the competition. Todos. Oh, Vicky. Enjoying seeing yourself in the paper? Held close in the arms of a dimwit like David? Lanview police first suspected LU freshman Marco Rivera in the attack on Robert Ford. Theorizing that Rivera's then-girlfriend, Langston Wilde's affair with Ford, triggered this crime of passion. So, did you get my message last night? Yes, I'm so sorry. I figured it was too late to call you back. You know, I ended up staying up all night helping that client. I figured. So, listen, um, you said you would give me an answer to my proposal of marriage sooner than later. Yep, that's what I said. Huh. Any chance I might uh, get your answer? I don't know. Maybe today? You might. Well, then. Listen, Blair, there is a really big mess I need to clean up right now. Is it all right if I swing by a little later? Great. I'll be here waiting. I will see you soon. Yeah, hi, this is um, Robert Ford. My brother James is a patient near ICU. Yeah, I was just wondering, would you mind, um, when he wakes up, telling him that Bobby will be back soon? Great, thanks. Hey, Bobby. Heard James. Your brother got shot. What do you want? I wanted to check in. Sound like Jimmy almost died, huh? Yeah, well, he didn't. Lucky break, because you know hospitals. They can be dangerous places. I mean, he still could. Say no more. Here, let me get that for you. There you go. Just like you like it. Thank you. Do you notice anything new? Did you get new teeth whitener? No. I, well, actually, yeah, I did. Why does it look bad? Well, where do these come from? That's what I was talking about. Your favorite son baked them himself. Well, Matthew knows how to work an oven. Your other favorite son. You made these? Just for you. I use real eggs. Uh, uh, well, you know what? I think, yeah. I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take mine to go. Oh, yeah. But I got to get to work. But so. I was going to start a new tradition between the two of us. Daily father and son breakfasts. Daily? Yeah. Hey, I have an idea. Every morning, you and I, we could have coffee, we could read the paper together. Hey, the sun has a new weather section. No, uh, David, David, this has got to stop. Yeah, I know. They've got to upgrade to a color map. No, no, I mean you. What do you mean, Pa? I mean, you're going to have to move out. 
Dorian, I can assure you that the only arms in which I am interested in being held closely are my husband's. Well, <laughs> thank you. And yet you hired David to work closely with you at the banner. So, you hired Charlie to work closely with you on this revitalizing land view. I hired the best man for the job. Yes, you did. And maybe I did too. David's only good at two things. Disrobing and disappointing. Excuse me, I have something personal I need to take care of. she ever, ever let up? Ever? <clears throat> she won't as long as we keep sitting on our butt doing nothing. Oh, honey, this... Do you really think... Yes, I think it is time to put our plan into action. Hello, Marco. It's been a while. You shouldn't be back here. I'm the mayor. <laughs> How are your parents? They're fine. I hope your mother isn't feeling remorseful about having slapped me a while back. I understand emotions were running high. By the way, I'm fine. She hasn't mentioned it. You look well. Yeah, well, I guess chump agrees with me. You are not a chump. But you will be. If you don't forgive Langston and give her a second chance. you'd be riding in the park by now. Oh, I was gonna go, but then I saw this. I mean, I guess you've heard about Hannah. It's pretty wild, huh? Yeah, well, Star was right. She's been saying this whole time that Hannah was the one who hurt Cole's mom, but now the chick's completely lost it. Well, I don't think she had it all to begin with. To push a pregnant woman down a flight of stairs, then to accuse Todd. Not to mention what she did to Ford. I mean, although he did deserve it. Right? Yeah. Right. I heard what happened at the country club last night. <laughs> Let me guess. <laughs> Dorian told you. Yes. When she wasn't ranting about David, she was raving about you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. All I did was push a guy into a swimming pool. Well, I'm just so glad you didn't buy into that load of BS that Ford was feeding me about you. What BS? I don't have a thing for Ford. <laughs> sure you do. I mean, how many articles have you written about him since you went back to work for the Sun? Well, yeah, that. You know, he's part of a big story. He preys on impressionable young girls until one of them tried to bludgeon him to death. Apparently, until he made her bananas. Todd's idea for the headline, I told him to change it. I still can't believe you're working for him. I can't believe you're working at the police station again. Why? Oh, it's... You know, don't get me wrong. I'm glad that you're doing something that you really enjoy. Why? I don't know. You and John working so closely didn't turn out so hot the first time you did it. I want you to know, Jessica didn't get any of this from me. I'm just busting your chops, all right? I know you'd never leak anything confidential. She's, um, she's just doing her job, right? Hey, so is this for real? All of a sudden, Hannah just freaked out and confessed? Pretty much. Oh, so that's it, then. Open and shut, right? Why don't you pass this along to your brother, James? Just in case he needs any legal advice when or if he gets out of the hospital. Dude, just stay away from James. I am honestly trying to help. I don't want your help, okay? I want you to leave me and my family alone. Fine, if that's what you want. I just want you to know that you can always count on me. Just as long as I know, I can always count on you. You think I trust you? You tried to kill me, and I wasn't even your first target. You tried to kill Marty Saybrook, too. <laughs>